Baking pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Get some bacon then put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes. Hey y'all, welcome back this week. This is Hans. So this is a very exciting time and I'm going to let you know uh, it's exciting because I've got my hands on a brand new Pulsar Thermion XM38. Uh, this is one of the, the newest, uh, well it is the newest uh, model of thermals from Pulsar rifle scopes that just came out. Uh, Jason and I, Jason and Outdoor Legacy Gear and I both got our hands on a unit to test out and use in the field. I, I've been hunting with that unit now for a little over a week, so stay tuned in the weeks to come. You'll get to see uh, first impressions videos. Uh, you'll get to see um, a full review of the Thermions. We're going to be talking about it on the Late Night Vision Show podcast, so please stay tuned for that. But today, we are doing our final review of uh, and this is the uh, Pulsar Axion uh, XM38. This is the, the third and final uh, in the Axion series that we're going to be talking about. I've already talked about the key XM30. Uh, I talked about the regular non-key model XM30. And so this is the, the top of the line Axion model, the XM38. We're going to run down the specs of this scope uh, specifically. We're also going to look at the differences between the three different Axion models. We'll do a, a brief recap. Uh, you're going to get to see videos. We're going to do a walk around of this optic. And uh, I'm going to tell you at the end of the video uh, who this unit might be uh, useful for and who might want to go to another one of the Axion models because there are some differences uh, and, and not huge differences, but obviously there's price, diff price differences in the different models and also some of the, the specs are a little bit different. So uh, first thing we we're going to do is take a look around the optic. So as you can see, um, the Axions, as we've talked about in the other review videos, they're known for the, the, the small size, the, the compact design of this thermal monocular spotting scanning uh, optic. It's made to be able to slip right in your pocket right away and access easily when you're out in the field, you're out hunting, uh, if you're, you're trying to track game or if you... If you've, uh, uh, you know, if you shot an animal and it's run off and you can't find it, you know, this is made for, for those situations. But really, being able to ID uh, animals at a far range without having to hold up your rifle scope at the same time and, uh, you know, use this in a more efficient manner. So, um, you know, similar to the, the other Axion models, you know, the look is very, very similar. You've got your, uh, all your access buttons here right here on the top. Um, it does have a an objective focus and an eyepiece diopter focus. So you can uh, uh, focus it two different ways. So you can get uh, as crystal clear as a picture as you possibly can. It does. Um, it's got multiple color palettes. Uh, it does have a rechargeable battery that basically just pops right here out of the end. Uh, you put it on a charging stand. You're going to get about, I'd say about three and a half uh, to four hours of runtime with this single battery uh, on good conditions night, nights. If it's colder, it's going to run down a lot quicker. Uh, but I would say, you know, around three and a half, three and a half hours. Now this is a 320 uh, by 240 thermal core resolution um, optic. It is, which is different than what Pulsar has done in the past. They've, they've kind of switched. They were a, uh, they were producing a lot of 384 uh, and 17 micron uh, optics, thermal optics, they've, they've gone down to a 320 resolution, but it's a 12 micron. So like we've talked about in the past videos, the lower the micron number, the better the image. So 12 right now is the best that you can get. And this is a 320 by 240 resolution, 12 micron thermal, um, thermal imager. So it's, uh, really it's, they're, they're progressing in their technology. They're able to do more with less, uh, and it does produce a, a very good picture. It is a 50 Hertz refresh rate. Uh, they're saying the detection range on this, a human sized target, uh, it's got a 1,859 yard detection range. So uh, well, as we've talked about in the past, the detection range is obviously a lot different than an ID range. Uh, with this unit, uh, we'll talk about the ID ranges as we get into the magnifications. Uh, but of all the three Axion uh, units, this XM38, you're going to be able to eat ID further. So it is a it does start out on a 5.5 power and goes up to a 22 power magnification so it starts out on 5.5 so that's a lot you know the the key xm30 
um, which is the the base model uh, of uh, the Axions. It's uh, that's a nineteen hundred dollar unit. It starts out on two point five power magnification, so a lot lower. Uh, the key XM thirty also does not include the internal video recording, so that's why you know you're you're getting that at a discounted lower price. Um, the non key model, the the XM thirty non key model, uh, that one's twenty one ninety nine. That starts out on a four power base magnification and does include the internal video recording. So, you know, you take that second step up to the XM30 model, you get internal video recording, you get a little bit more base magnification, four to 16 power. So the XM38 does include internal video recording. Uh, it starts out on a 5.5 power, like I said, goes up to 22 power. So it's a lot of magnification. Uh, which again, you're paying a little bit more for for those steps up. This unit um, is is two thousand five hundred ninety nine dollars, so basically twenty six hundred dollars. Uh, you're going to get this spotting scope. So, you know, as far as the, internally, the the menus um, uh, very easy to set up. Uh, you know, all the pulsar thermal rifle scopes or binoculars are very easy, user friendly, very intuitive. Um, you know, you can go through th the difference in uh, what they're producing now with the Axions and even the Thermions, uh, you're going to have multiple color pa palettes to choose from, which in the past uh, you did not have that that option. You know, you had basically white hot or black hot. Now there's, you know, six or seven different types of color palettes. Most of them you'll never use. Um, you know, I usually stick with the traditional white hot and black hot. That's what I like to scan in white hot, um, you know, when I'm using a scanner. But when I'm shooting... Uh, on my rifle scope, I like to shoot in black hot. So, you know, it's it's to each his own, but you've got a lot of choices to choose from. Um, we're going to get a chance to take a look at some video uh, and, and get some uh, get a look at some hogs and different animals at different ranges. Uh, and then at the, on the other side of that, I'll, I'll tell you uh, tell you my thoughts on it personally. All right, y'all. So we got a chance to look at a lot of video. Um, you know, really, with the 5.5 power base magnification, the people that are really going to be excited and want something like this are people that are out there, uh, and they are, you know, in the Midwest or, or if you even if you're in Texas in the South or uh, anywhere in the country where you're scanning uh, very large open fields. You know, I've, I've got some buddies that are lucky and fortunate that they, they've got several hundred acres of flat field that they can scan. Uh, and this is a very useful tool for them. You know, this, this, they chose this XM 38 specifically because of that reason. Um, so if you're needing to, uh, you know, to ID an animal at 400 yards to 500 yards, this is, this is going to be the optic for you. Now, if you are, uh, not needing to ID that far away, you know, and, and, you know, you're, um, you know, in the 300 yard range, three to top, maybe 400 on a good condition night, maybe that regular XM 30 model is going to be good for you. And then on the lower end of that, the, the regular key XM 30, you know, or for, for your people that are just doing a lot of types of hunting that I do where I'm driving around in a truck and I'm scanning a small field and, you know, I, it's 200 yards tops. And, and something like that works best for me. I don't need my hunting conditions here in East Texas. I don't need a lot of magnification at all. But people out in West Texas, uh, in the Midwest, they need these higher magnifications. They need to be able to see coyotes at four or 500 yards away and know if it's a coyote or know if it's a deer or if, it, if it's a hog, whatever. So the people that are going to like the XM38 are people that are wanting to ID as far as they possibly can. Um you know, I, I, as far as any dislikes, uh, I think um, I didn't really have any dislikes. It, it worked flawlessly. I mean, it was uh, the picture was good, um, you know, for a 320 resolution, 12 micron. Uh, I thought that uh, all the, you know, the ID 
uh, ranges were up to my expectations as far as what I thought it should be. And, uh, you know, for the Axion models to come in to the market and really fill a void, you know, we have the Helions, uh, which are, are superb quality uh, spotting monoculars from Pulsar. But those are higher priced than these Axions. These Axions, as far as price, kind of slip right in there under the pricing level of the Helions. So the Axion models range from $1,900 up to $2,600. Really fills a void for people that are, are not wanting to spend as much on a spotting scope as they could on a rifle scope. So it kind of works out great for them. I really like the Axion models, all three of them. I, I like, um, you know, uh, that uh, I didn't have any problems with them at all and, and really liked them. I thought it was very good quality. Uh, happy with the, the the clarity of the picture. My favorite of the three Axion models uh, is going to be the, the regular Axion XM30. That's the four power base magnification scope. It's $21.99. It was plenty of magnification that I needed. It gave me the ID range as far out as even further out than I even needed. And I think at the $21.99 price, it's a great deal. The people again that are are willing to step up and spend a little bit more money, you're going to get, you know, uh, quite a bit more magnification and a longer range. You know, the XM30 is four, four power to 16 power. This is 5.5 to 22 power. So, you know, you're going to be able to get a long way out there. It's a 1900 yard detection range with a little bitty tiny spotting scope. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, the, we have wrapped up officially all the reviews of the Axion models. Um, like I said, we've got the Thermion right now. They're, they, a limited number of Thermion scopes have hit the dealers and uh, they're really just for testing right now. All the other inventory uh, is right on schedule for this summer to start filling these back orders. Um, but I've enjoyed be being able to get out, test the uh, test the Thermion. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of the some of the pictures that I've been posting of some of the hog kills that I've had with the Thermion. And uh, I'm really just waiting for some good weather nights. The weather's been terrible. It's been raining ever since I've I've had this unit. So I'm really, it's kind of delayed me putting out a, uh, a first impressions and a first hunt video video like I, I normally would. But as soon as the weather gets a little bit better, uh, I'll be able to put that uh, video together and put it out for you. But thank you for joining me. If you have any questions uh, about the Axion or if you're interested in purchasing the Axion, please contact Jason uh, over at Outdoor Legacy Gear. Um, you can find them on uh, on the website, OutdoorLegacyGear.com. You can call them at 877-350-1818. Uh, as always, thank you for watching this channel. Last week, I put out a hunting video of some, some thermal hog drops. Uh, this week's a review. We're going to get back to some more hunting. Uh, I'm, I, you know, I know we've been doing a lot of reviews lately, but there's been a lot of new products coming out. Uh, the Axions, the Thermions, there's five different Thermion models. All of you want to see video and hunts from these units. I try to get them out as quick as I can. Uh, and, and mix some hunting videos in uh, when I can in between some of the review videos. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. You're going to see the latest in night vision and thermal gear, spotting scopes, optics, rifle scopes. You're going to get to see and hear the reviews here. Also, thermal hog and coyote hunting. Uh, I am go out just about every night uh, going at You can ask my, my wife and my family and all my buddies. They know that if I'm not here, uh, at the house doing something with the family. I'm out hunting uh, every night. So uh, thank you all for joining me this week. Please subscribe. Go check out the Late Night Vision Show podcast. That is a podcast that Jason Robertson and I uh, do on a weekly basis. We have a YouTube channel, the Late Night Vision Show uh, on YouTube. You can also find us on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, and it is the Late Night Vision Show. And you can find us also on iTunes, Google Play. It is a podcast. It's a radio format but we record the videos and show them on YouTube. So we've got a lot of subscribers over there as well. And that channel is growing like crazy, but again, Axion XM 38. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see y'all next week. Stay safe in the fields and keep making them bacon pancakes. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so by just clicking on the Hansi's Texas logo right below me. Also the late night vision show podcast to subscribe to that YouTube channel. Just hit this logo right here to the left and to watch related videos, you can hit right down there in the corner. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, and keep making them bacon pancakes.